Hi everybody, it's Christina from Card Making Magic. In today's video I'm going to use the butterfly trails and I'm going to show you a different way to create butterfly cards with these dies. I've also got the butterfly trails of sentiments and I'm going to use the butterfly trails of verses set. So for these cards I'm going to use both the 6x6 and the 5x7 and I'm going to start with a piece of A4 card which I'm simply going to fold in half. Now once you've done that you can take your dies. So these are the, the dies. This is the 5x7, this is the 6x6. And all I'm doing is taking the largest of the dies and I'm going to place it on the fold. So we'll have this along there like this and we'll take that in place so that it can't move. So I've got the top of the wing at the, the fold on the card, the bottom of the wing is on the bottom of the card and I've got the two portions of the outer wing hanging off the fold and I'm going to die cut that. Now once I've die cut that it will give me this. Now I can also achieve the same thing with the 5x7. Keep it on the bottom, keep the top of the wing on the card and we're just going to take that down so that this portion of the wings will cut and leave the card joined and that will give you a look that looks like this. Now if you want to put the pattern in your card it's always easier to do it while it's open. So we'll take this portion of the die and we'll just add it to this side of the wing and then we'll take the other side and we'll pop that over there. Now I'm taping them in place because I don't want them to move while I'm die cutting. So we'll take that there. Now when you're die cutting this you're going to put this onto your board but you're only going to partially cut it. So where that crease line is in the wing, you're just going to put your other board up to that crease line and die cut that. And that will then give you a leaf or a wing that is only partially die cut. It's not affected the, the join at all. So there we are, partially die cut wing. The die is still in place, so we can take that off. And now we can pop out all these other pieces. And there's our pattern in our wing. Once you've got to this stage, you have a see-through card. You also have one that is completely solid. Now what you can do is you can line the back of the card so that the see-through colour is through the wings. Or, add your pattern to the back of this, you're going to need to open it and pop your card in there and you'll need to make some little pencil marks so that you know where the wing finishes. So there's the, the fold line. So now I can trim up that fold line and this will then fit neatly inside. front. So for this so one then, using this same die I cut two pieces. I've got one in white and one in turquoise and to the turquoise one I'm going to add the wing filigree pieces and cut that through and that will give me a pattern that looks like this. Now I can either have another piece of this and add it to that to make a tone on tone or I can contrast it with the white one and add it on there. But whichever I decide to go for, they will then both be added to the top of my 5x7 butterfly card. Now to create another side folded shaped card, I've cut a darker panel in the dark turquoise. I've used the outer die to cut the top layer. And then using all these inner dies, I have cut different panels. 
So I've done the same for both sides and this is going to sit along there. Then I've used the next one down and that's going to sit along there. And then I've used the next one down which is the smallest one and that's going to sit along there. And I've done all that with all the dies and I've also done it with the body line. So I've got it once in white and another in the card and that's going to sit on the top. Now these layers I'm going to add with some foam tape. So just to add some decoration to my cards I found some little white flowers in my um, in my stash and I'm just going to add these to the body line of this butterfly with some hot glue. Just two and that will just finish that off and then we can stamp a little sentiment and add that to the side of the wings. This one has pearls down it this one has birthday wishes on it from the sentiment stamp. Now on this one I've added this with foam pads and it's got the foam on the back. So to make sure that that doesn't stick to this card I've cut one of the backing pieces and I'm going to add this with some glue to the back of this card and then it will hide the workings of this, it will hide the, the foam pads and it will marry up with the one that's on the front and it will make it look a lot tidier than if it wasn't there. It will still open. So you've got one that you can see through, one that you can't. You have one that has the panel on the front that's got the detail in it and this one has all the separate pieces on it. On the back of this one because it was front heavy I've had to put another panel on the back but at least now that will stand up and they will all stand to, for you to be displayed on your recipient's mantelpiece. So there you've got four more cards that are created using the Butterfly Trails dies and the Butterfly Trails sentiments. So here's just a reminder of the dies that I've used. I've used the 5x7 Butterfly Gatefold card and the 6x6 one. I've used the Butterfly Trails sentiments and I've decorated them with pearls and flowers that I have in my stash. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have, please join me on the next one. And why not subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell and you'll always be aware when I add a video. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.